Hello, everybody. This is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another plan with me. This week, I am memory planning the week of 4th of July in my Aura Estelle cloud, <laughs> cloud planner with caress press inserts um, using this kit from Luxie Kylie Designs called Star Spangled. I had so much fun with this kit. I used to buy kits from Lexi De Kylie Designs all the time years and years ago and then I felt like my style kind of started to shift and evolve and hers went a different way and it went kind of separate and I didn't buy anything from her for a few years and um, then I saw this kit and I was like oh the kit format's updated. Some of the pages are like you know stuff that I personally look for in kit formats and she had all these floral add-ons and I think she messaged me and told me this was her first foiled kit um, which again is something I totally look for um, so I bought it I picked it up and I loved it it was so much fun to use I forgot her she's got that really like buttery premium matte paper that I'm obsessed with it's like not at all scratchy it's super smooth and I just like thick and really nice really good print quality the foiling was so nice like it was so good um quickly before I keep talking about that you may have noticed that we have jumped <laughs> ahead of me putting down the base and we're working on Tuesday what I did for this was um because I already like my last plan with me video was me um doing a plan ahead while well, I was trying to do a plan ahead of the week of fourth of July so I, I genuinely did pre-plan it in my functional planner my plum paper planner and I filmed that on video and then my intent was to also decorative um pre-plan this week with my two little bees Americana kit but as you may be able to see here or talk about it a little bit, this week was so hectic and busy that it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So um, I ended up kind of memory planning Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So what I did was I did a live plan with me on my Instagram stories where I put down the base and I planned out Monday. That was super fun. You can go to my Instagram and check it out under the IGTVs. It was my first one, so I was really nervous, but everyone was super nice. So I appreciate that if you were there. Um, but yeah, if you want to see the first half of the video, I think I could probably leave a link to it. I'll figure that out, but on my Instagram. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where that went. I forgot what I was saying about the kit. I don't know. I just, I enjoyed it like so much at first. I'm not going to lie. The first maybe few days of planning with it, I was really nervous because every time I use a kit format that I'm not used to, I get a little bit nervous and I'm like, ugh, because I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. And it, I like, I definitely, when I use kits from shops that I use their stuff all the time. I like know what I like to do and I have a good idea of stuff that I like to use in their kits and how I like to put stuff together. But um, with this kit, it, it was like kind of new to me. So, but I felt like I kind of got to stretch and be really creative and did a lot of stuff that I don't normally do and had a lot of fun with it. Um, oh, this is one of those things too. I put a bunch of like little kind of stars and diamonds and firework deco everywhere all over the spread. The I was already kind of doing that and then I saw um a Jen of Jen of Whole Muna's plans post a picture of her Fourth of July spread and she had I have the same like Sadie sticker sheet that I think she used um, and she had done what I just did up above the date covers with all the kind of fireworks and stars and I thought that was the cutest thing so I went and did that too thank you so much for that idea Jen I totally ripped it and I loved it it was super super cute <laughs> um, so yeah that's kind of that was yeah one of the things I really like doing with the spread is I the, there was florals like and there was a floral add-on I bought a couple I used them honestly I wish I would have had more I ended up hoarding them because that's what I do when I feel like I don't have enough florals and then I end up with extras at the end. But um, I didn't use a whole lot of like hearts or um, like foiled foil branches or anything like that. Instead, I used a lot of diamonds and stars and asterisks and stuff that was a little bit more 4th of July themed and I just sprinkled it throughout the spread everywhere and I loved it. I loved how delicate so many of those stickers were. Um, so that was just really fun. And I really like how, like in person now, when I look at the spread, I love how shimmery it turned out. And like when I do like a foil shot, it's just so foiled and I'm so obsessed with it. I also feel like I used a lot of like, I have both light gold and gold foil mixed together in my collection. I feel like I pulled a lot of gold and normally that's not my preference. I prefer light gold, but I ended up really liking how it turned out. So yeah. Um, 
I know that I kind of talked over the first half of this week. Again, if there's anything in particular you want to know where the stickers are from, just ask me down below. I will um, be sure to let you know. I'm going to talk through the actual stickers and the plans for the second half of the week. So, um, And I repeated a lot of the same kind of stuff and used the same sticker sheets um, as I always do because I think it looks cohesive that way um, on the second half. So I can probably talk more about it. But again, if you want to know more, just leave me a comment um, and I will let you know. Also, I tag all the shops on my Instagram. So... Um, okay, so I am marking down here that, gosh, I'm rusty at voiceovers. <laughs> I feel like I've been doing so many talk through plan aheads that I'm losing my voiceover skills. It's definitely a, like a muscle you need to keep flexing, I think. Okay, sorry. Um, I did a bunch of errands this day. Um, we had a, we had an appointment for Steven. He is was two weeks post-surgery. He had surgery on his foot because he broke his foot. Um, so we kind of spent the rest of the day doing errands for him because he cannot drive <laughs> for months. Anyway, okay. Um, anyways, so I marked the errands. I thought that was cute. I cut out some of the deco. There was one white full box with florals in it and I loved it, but I was like, I'm going to cut that one up so I can use the florals. And I put that down at the bottom and then use some stars from the Pretty Pink Co sampler. And then she had, um, I, I like when shops actually include a few, well, not that I feel like every shop needs to, but when, when shops include um, some really nice foil like script headers in a really clean like script, no, not script, uh, printed like font. What's the word when it's not cursive? It's escaping me. Anyways, um, I used that. She had one that says errands and I used that for the bottom there and I thought that looked really cute to kind of make my own checklist. Um, so enjoyed that. Okay, moving on to Thursday. It was the first of July. So I marked hello July with a, um, Alyssa's craft shop sticker. I do have a coupon code to her shop as well as a new freebie. It is so cute. I think if you order now, you'll probably get it. And it's super, 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 super cute. So, um, look out for that. Anyways, I did a lot of, um, she had some fancy boxes in the kit. So I used just a square with some of the stars from the kit. I really like that. The foil stars are from the pretty pink co and then some deco. Um, down here you can see I used her, a lot of her quarter boxes weren't exactly my style, which is fine. Um, so I used these from the, uh, by craft, use these from crafts by Towie to put over top them. So I would just get a little bit of the color in the background, but with the crafts by Towie foil, I really like those boxes from her cause they have a slight border. They don't totally hit the, um, hit the edges of the box or go the full width of the box. So I cut up a header there because I wanted more of that dark blue color and kind of purposefully offset it so that way I could put like flowers in the icon on the other side so you couldn't tell that it, you know, didn't take up the whole, the whole column. Anyways, okay. Um, I marked my meetings the same way every day too. The, the uh, computer is from Crafts by Tally. I put some florals behind it and some stars and then some little kind of sparkly deco around it. Um, I also marked packing. I just took the edge of a, the weekend banner. I don't use weekend banners, but that had really nice florals and I really like the mustard kind of flag. And I cut that up and layered it with a suitcase. Most of the foiled icons I used this week were from Crafts by Tally, by the way. Um, and then I marked that we drove to Tahoe this night. Oh my goodness. We got there so late. It was so awful. They, um, again, I normally Steven drives. I had to drive, which I hate driving, <laughs> but it's fine, whatever. But it was so trafficy. It took so, I don't think we got there till like past midnight. It took like an extra hour or so than what it would normally take because they had closed the roads to get there. Like the freeways and were making us go like in little mountain roads on the, like, exits in the mountains. It was awful. I was like, why are you doing this right before 4th of July? You know, this is the bu busiest weekend of the year. <laughs> um, but we got there safe and it was lovely. Um, so we were staying, we have a big, every year we do big 4th of July family reunion on my dad's side. He has, he's one of five siblings. Everyone's there. Everyone's kids are there. Everyone's kids, kids are there. Like it's a huge thing. So, um, we have a condo there, but we were we also rented out a bunch of other ones and we were staying, um, in one with my family and my sisters were all there, my sister's boyfriend, my husband. So we all were working from home on Friday and we had like this huge coffee, uh, folding table set up and we're working kind of all morning together, um, with like 
cords and cables and monitors and mouses and everything, laptops everywhere. <laughs> so that was kind of funny, but productive. Um, marked that with a half box. And yeah, just again, sparkles, crossway tally icons, etc. Um, I marked that paper trail plans grand open. Do you guys, if you follow my videos, I've been talking about for them forever because I'm so excited for their shop. Um, and I just did some fancy stuff with some Sadie stickers, um, like hanging banner, uh, what are those called? I can't think of the name. I don't know. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, moving on. Um, we went to the beach in the afternoon after that. We have a beach that's like part of our condo, so it wasn't as busy as like going to a public one, so that was really nice. Um, I marked that with a bikini from White Deer Stationery, which I love, some florals, and then the waves are from Letters to Apollo. I love those too. Um, I marked that we, my uncle is like super talented at grilling and smoking and baking and all that stuff. That's been his like retirement project and he made incredible tri-tip tri on the barbecue that evening. So I marked that down as well. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to, you can see white deer stationary icons, craft tie icons. I'm going to try not to continue to repeat myself over and over. Um, and then I also marked that I started a book this day called The Secret History while we were on the beach. Um, my sister recommended it. She was obsessed with it and she gave it to me like a couple months ago and I tried so hard to get into it this vacation. I don't know if she's watching. Sorry if you watch this, Rin, but um, I tried so hard to get into it and I, I swear I'm like more than 50 pages in and I just, I'm not, I'm not feeling it yet. So I might keep trying. I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes I'm like, I don't have enough time in my life to waste it on a bad book, but if she says it's good, it's probably good. Um, okay, moving on to Saturday, we slept in this morning and I marked that with a My Newest Addiction pillow and of course florals and sparkly deco everywhere. Um, I met some of my baby cousins this morning, um, which was so exciting. My One of my cousins, well, I don't know what they're called if they're, it's my cousin's kids. He is um, military, so one of his kids was born in Korea, one of his kids was born in Germany. I forget where the third kid was born, <laughs> but I haven't been able to meet them. They're all like under three, I think. So I met them this morning and I was so, they were the sweetest, cutest kids ever, like truly. So that was like a highlight of, of my day, weekend, life, etc. cetera. Um, I also marked we had a beach day this afternoon um, or just the whole day we were kind of at the beach. So again, fancy boxes that Sunscreen is from a Crafts by Towie summer sampler sheet. I also marked that there was like thunderstorms in the afternoon, which is very typical of Tahoe in the summer. Um, and we went hot tubbing. I went with my cousins, got some drinks, got in the hot tub. My sister's boyfriend made a charcuterie platter. It was delightful. Um, so we went hot tubbing um, while it was kind of like thunderstorming. It wasn't lightning yet, but you know, that's like a living a little on the edge, but still fun. <laughs> Um, I did that something, someone did something similar with the cloud, um, to mark the thunderstorms somewhere. I don't remember who or how, but I do want to call out that that was not my idea. I saw that somewhere and I thought it was really cute. So I did my own take on it. Um, and then I also marked that we placed categories that night. That is a game that my cousins and I all play together every year since forever. And it's so much fun. We have so much fun with it. Sometimes my aunts will jump in a little bit too, but yeah, it's fun. My cousins are great well on all sides of the family but on that side of the family they range from like teenagers to like mid-30s and we have a great time together um okay moving on to Sunday I marked the 4th of July super extra the sunbursts are from Dash of Sun Designs and the script is from Paper Trail Plans again coupon codes to both of those you can check them down below for any shops I have it to um, this morning we started off doing some yoga on the beach. My sister is like super fit, super talented. She does core power like multiple times a week for years. And so she led us and we were like quite this, quite the scene on the beach. It was like myself, my sisters, one of my cousins, he's like, in, I don't know, early twenties, a baby, uh, his mom, her mom, my aunts who are in their 60s <laughs> we were just and we were just having a great time um doing yoga on the beach just cracking ourselves up but also stretching and getting a workout in so that was fun um and then in the afternoon we went boating so lovely such a beautiful day um so again same kind of thing fancy boxes florals you get it that sailboat is again from that crafts by Towie summer sampler sheet 
Um, and I just think that looked so cute. I loved using the stars deco from the, from the kit too. That was really nice. And then, um, you know, we did the same, a lot of the same, a lot of the nights look the same here, but categories, barbecue, et cetera, et cetera. But I also marked up pretty much my whole family went down with drinks and went down to our dock and watched the sunset on the dock with drinks and the little kids or like one of my cousins was throwing crawdads up and we were showing the little babies, the crawdads. And it was just a very wholesome, lovely um, all American 4th of July. <laughs> um, so I'm showing you the kit leftovers. A lot of the stuff that I'm putting in here is stuff that I feel like it's kind of left over from the, um, style that isn't really my style, but is still kind of a part of her kit. So if you, whether you have my style or a slightly different style, I feel like her kits will work for you genuinely, especially the foiled ones. Um, so I am putting that all down here. Again, if you're new, I put all my leftovers into a reusable sticker book and I'm going to give them all away once it fills up, which we are super close to doing. I have a goal that I want a full year's worth of leftovers in there and we're pretty much there. I started fall of last year, so I have all the major holidays in there, um, kits for all the major holidays, but anyways, <laughs> that's that'll come soon. I'll give that away. This is the spread. I loved it. I had so much fun doing it. I really feel like it stretched my creativity and... Um, just what got me out of my comfort zone in a really good way. So I hope you enjoyed it um, as much as I did. I appreciate you watching. Thanks so much. Bye.